Well, in one of my previous interviews, I was asked this question on how do we find similarities between documents or similarities between sentences? Well, this is a very basic question when it comes to NLP, AI or generative AI. But many of you also struggle in answering such basic questions, right? Many of you give bookish answers, which interviewers don't like. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you my exact strategy on how I would answer such questions. And welcome to this beautiful interview series where I am coming up with such beautiful interview related questions that can be answered in a different and a funny in a way that can create impact on interviewers. In case you're struggling with some questions that you have been recently asked and you want me to answer in my own way, let me know in the comment section and I will create a separate video on that. This video, let's go ahead, watch it out. Well, for those who don't know, for those who are new to this channel, my name is Satyajit Patnaik. Welcome back to my channel. Please like, share and subscribe the channel if you have not done it. Another beautiful announcement, I'm also coming up with a 50 days of Gen AI challenge where I'm going to post one shot every day so that you can learn more about generative AI. In case you like such kind of content and you want me to come up with different sets of uh, topics such as 50 days of ML, 50 days of Agent AI, let me know in the comment section as well. Without further ado, let's jump in and get into this video. Hi, welcome to this interview series and in this video we are going to focus on this question on how do we find similarity between two documents or two sentences. Well, this was also one of the questions asked to me in one of my previous interviews and the strategy of answering such questions is very simple. Any kind of question that you are asked, always try to relate it with your personal experience and then start answering. Now, for example, how would I answer this? I'll get started with, well, in natural language processing, measuring similarity between text sentences is vital for applications like search engines or uh, chatbots. There are various techniques using which you can actually calculate the similarity between different documents. One of them is jacquard similarity. Second could be Levenstein, my spelling could be wrong, Levenstein distance. Third could be cosine similarity. And there are many other techniques. Now, pick one of these topics and start explaining the mathematics behind it so that the interviewer will have an idea that yes, you are having a proper understanding on this topic. Now, for example, I'll go for cosine similarity. What is cosine similarity? Now, cosine similarity is particularly useful for evaluating the similarity between sentences represented as vectors. We can get started with an example. Let's say a simple example is sentence one is hello world and sentence two is hello. I'm just taking a very simple example because if I take more words, here we have how many unique words, two unique words, so I can potentially show it graphically as well, right? For example, my x-axis is hello and my y-axis is world. Let's first draw a simple matrix, hello, world, sentence one, sentence two. Hello is present in sentence one, yes, present in sentence one, sentence two, hello, but no. So what is the coordinates of S1, 1, 1, and the coordinates of S2 is 1, 0. And then if I plot this, this is exactly where my sentence one falls in, and my sentence two is here. And what is the angle between them? The angle between them is theta, which is cos theta, which is in this case, it is 45 degrees and cos 45 degrees is 1 by root 2, which is very close to 0 0.71. That means this particular example, the cosine similarity is 0 0.71. If you take similar kind of example, let's say another example is, let's say, hello world and hello, 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 hello. 
now in this case what's happening again i will try to draw the graph uh, the matrix hello world s1 s2 yes one hello is present four times no so what are the coordinates one one and four zero I'll, I'll i'll take the same graph so in green my s1 will be here and in green my s2 will be here so again what is the angle between them it is still still the same 45 degrees so here also the cosine similarity will be 0.71 so irrespective of how many times you have hello here and here the cosine similarity is same so cosine similarity formula is very simple cosine similarity formula mathematically is summation of ai bi divided by summation of sorry summation of ai square root over multiplied with summation of bi square root over let's try to take a complex sentence and try to find out what is the cosine similarity let's say my first sentence is i love data science and then we have i love zep analytics okay so in this case what will happen sorry if i draw my matrix i love data science and zep these are the five keywords s1 and s2 1 1 1 1 0 1 1 0 0 1 right i cannot draw this because it's a five dimensional uh, coordinate so what i'm going to do is i am going to copy paste this formula on my screen i'm going to use this so yeah the formula is this right so in this case what will happen is summation of ai bi the first is one one so one one plus one multiplied with one plus one multiplied with zero plus one multiplied with zero plus zero multiplied with one so the numerator is fixed the denominator will be ai square that means all of this square so one square plus one square plus one square plus one square plus zero square root over multiplied with bi square which is one square plus one square plus zero plus zero plus one square so it's going to be like this so what is my numerator this is zero this is zero this is zero it is two divided by four root over multiplied with three root over which is two divided by two root over three two two cancel it's going to be one by root over three and one by root over three should be three root over is 1.73 so one by 1.73 sorry uh, one by 1.73 one divided by 1.73 should be around sorry my bad one by 1.73 is around 0.57 so the cosine similarity between these two sentences is nothing but 0.57 cosine similarity always lies between minus one to plus one and this basically means it's a good similarity the similarity score is good similarly if you want to take some other examples you can always take now this is exactly how i am going to explain to the interviewer and if they are still looking at a follow-up question on okay sentences are fine how do we check similarities between two documents well that is something uh, we have to also apply kind of cosine similarity concepts or maybe some other concepts but two documents is a bit difficult thing uh, but yeah two sentences is pretty easy to uh, answer we'll try to talk about this in one of the future videos